Yeah. Right, Camilla, so we're coming into the start of the kind of summer and springtime and uh, two of our hives are doing really well but one hive is not going so well. What's what's gone on here? Uh, yeah, although they're bringing in some pollen, they're just a bit weak on numbers um, and the queen doesn't appear to be laying properly. Um, we've got a few here as well. Um, you can spend a lot of time trying to keep like bees going. We put some extra brood in to see if that would help them. Um, the queen's still there, but she doesn't appear to be laying properly. And it's very hard for us to get things going just because the numbers are down. We've tried putting in some new bees, but we don't want to undermine the other colonies too much. So probably the best thing to do would be better to have a strong colony in central London, particularly in the spring. So we'll just probably combine them with this other lot here. There's no signs of disease or anything, but um, they're just a bit weak, so it's better off to build up a, another colony, have it really strong, and then divide it later in the year than try and keep going a weak colony. Yeah. And never really get going. Um, so two weeks ago we put this frame in from another hive. Yeah, um, to bump up the numbers a bit. To try and get the numbers going, but they weren't able to keep, keep the frame warm enough, warm enough no. for the brood to hatch out. Yeah. So that's so, what's happened. Yeah. I mean, you can keep adding frames, but I think we might do more harm than good. So I think the best thing is to strengthen another colony with the extra numbers. Yeah. Um, and then when they're likely to try and swarm in, in about a month or two's time, because the other two colonies are quite strong, Yeah. is divide. Um, and then try and get an extra hive yeah. out of that. Yeah, probably the yeah. best thing. Much better. So um, how many bees do you think we've got in this hive now in comparison to the others? So I'd say you've probably got in the larger hives, that's gone up quite a lot, maybe about 10,000. Yeah. That one about more like 6,000. This one down to about 1,000 odd. Down to about 1,000. quite a few going to be outside but yeah. they're just, you know, the best thing to do I think is to, you know, keep colonies strong, you know, it's, it's just going to be easier for them. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this brood chamber off this hive, yep. put it onto this hive over here, yep. and we're going to put a sheet of newspaper in between. That's right. And why yeah. Why does that That helps help? them get used to each other. Yeah. Um, I'll probably take out the bad queen that's, that's not doing particularly well, Yeah. Uh, otherwise they'll fight. Yeah. And we don't want to end up with the wrong queen. Um, okay. So, and then what you do is you can, you, well, the good thing about having several uh, bee hives on one side is that you can sort out issues like this fairly quickly yeah. and fairly easily. Um, so bees will tolerate um, the position of their hive moving a bit a couple of feet either way. So what we can do is just bring this one over to here and put these together and these bees will recognise that as their hive. Yeah. And the returning bees, if they're having a problem getting in, they're coming back with nectar anyway, so that'll persuade the guard bees in the front yeah. door to let them in. It's kind of a bit of bribery or a yeah. door entry fee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I hope they actually do it. Okay, great. So, what we've done here, Camilla, is we've put the weak hive's brood chamber at the bottom and the strong hive's brood chamber at the top. Yep. So we've got about a thousand bees at the bottom, probably about another six thousand above, and then the newspaper in between. Yeah. And what's going to happen now over the next kind of like week or so? Yeah. Basically, the bees will chew through um, the newspaper between, especially these returning foraging bees. Yeah. Uh, and to get back to the brood, brood area, which they can smell. Yeah. The pheromones. Um, so, and during that period, they'll combine. Um, what's happening now is all the bees are estimating that that's their hive, yeah. even though it's on the, not on the same site for either of them, it's just between. Yeah. So they're starting to move around a bit, but they're accepting it. Um, and it's quite a good day to do it because a lot of the, it's very hot now, yeah. um, a lot of the foraging bees are out, um, and any remaining bees in the bottom, they've actually gone into a corner. Yeah. Away from all these returning bees, so that the sense of mixing. Yeah. Um, and then all being well, they should um, uh, mix quite well. It's better to put if you put two strong colonies together, they can have a massive fight. But yeah. a small one and a large one, they're not such a threat. And that by the time it's all mixed in, yeah, um, you know, they should combine well. Okay. Um, so we put some Vita Feed Gold on, which is um, a spring boost. It's also good because it's something called Nassima that you occasionally get this time. Yeah. So, um, fingers crossed that should do it. 
And also, there's a bit of honey on that bottom, so that should be a boost for the, the main colony. Um, and uh, that's it, really. I think we're all done. Brilliant. All right, this week we're having a look at um, what happened when we combined two hives using newspaper. So one weak one to a strong one. Okay, so we'll just see if they've chewed through and where the bees have decided to go in the hive. I imagine that we've gone into that, uh, the area of the stronger pollinator. So when you're taking a hive apart, you're just stacking it all out of the way, diagonally, so they don't crush bees. They have eaten some of the feed, but the weather's been fantastic this week, so a lot of bees will have actually gone out and gathered nectar. That looks great. Great, okay. So, we'll just have a look through, see what's happened to the newspaper underneath. happens is they chew through it. So yeah, there we go. That's really good. There we go. They chew through the whole lot. They combined. So now what we'll do is try and rationalise this a bit. They're accepted each other. There's not a lot of dead bees hanging around, so they seem to the newspaper technique has stopped them fighting. So what we're going to do is put all these lots into the brood chamber. So there's plenty of stores and plenty of bees all in one area. And then, because they're going to be quite strong now, yeah. probably in a couple of weeks we'll put a super on, which is a honey box, um, because the weather's perked up, we've got a stronger colony, they're good to go and they're just about right for when all the nectar is coming in. So that's what we're trying to get everything ready for right now. I'll we'll just get those off. Yeah. Only empty frames, get them out of the way. Yeah. 